Well, there's been mixed reports about how well the local residential real estate market's performing this year. Making any progress? Prices up or down? What about the best deals? Gone already? Let's talk with our real estate contributor, Denny Grimes, about where we've been for the first six months of the year. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. It, it's a kind of a mixed picture of where we are with sales. It sounds maybe not so good, but it really is. Yeah, we've had some good reports and some months that sales were up, and we had some months that sales were down. So at the end of six months, the way we're looking, you know, I, I brought in the graph that shows that our sales, when compared to last year for the same time period, is down 4%. Now, that sounds like bad news. It sounds like the market's slowing. But again, you got, the viewers have to remember we're comparing it against 2009, which was by far a perfect season. It was by far our best year. And the sales so far this year and, uh, are better than any other six month period we had except for last year. Now, last year was so big yeah. that it, you're comparing it against, that you said, the perfect season. That's right. So we're well ahead of where we were the last couple of years and even back to the boom, right? That's right. I mean, it's. It, 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 we couldn't have really asked for anything better so far this year. And I know we had the tax credit to kind of boost sales a little bit, and that ended in April. Uh, and then, of course, we've had for the last 60 days, we had a little bit of oil worries, and that might have slowed the market. But all in all, I'd still rate our market extremely strong uh, so far for the first six months of this year. What about prices? They do go up and down. It's a real mixed <coughs> bag. It could be good if you're shop uh, buying, bad if you're selling. It just sort of depends. Yes, you know, for the first, uh, you know, the first several years since the market's corrected, you know, our prices were kind of on a bungee cord, but they've kind of softened a little bit, and we've seen a little bit of upward tick uh, so far this year. They're up about six percent, but uh, they're up, you know, about fifteen percent from the bottom, which happened, you know, last year. And I know your viewers. We've got Collier and Charlotte County. Lee County kind of is going to be the barometer. We had the most severe real estate oversupply, and, and, and so the most real estate correction. And so as we correct, the other markets in our sister counties are going to actually be better than us. So we're kind of, <laughs> we're at the bottom <laughs> in Lee County. That's right. So everyone else can actually be a little bit more optimistic than Lee County. <clears throat> as we go, the rest of Southwest Florida goes. All right. So for the next six months, where does 2010 go? The interesting thing, the interesting thing we're seeing now, Rob, is that the majority of the over $250,000 sales from 50 to 80 percent of those sales are short sales. That's something relatively new. So it used to be the short sales have been defined at the low end. Now the upper end is now seeing these distressed properties come on online, and so the majority of those sales are taking place, uh, and which means downward pressure. So I think for the next half of the year, you're going to see sales slow, and you're going to see some price erosion in um, the. Uh, you know, 250 and up market mm -hmm. as these distressed properties come online and the most motivated sellers will set the market. All right, Danny, thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Right back, top stories, weather and traffic.